This week in Louisiana agriculture, help is on the way to ranchers hit hard by this year's drought. Some of it depends upon the Senate passing a bill during the lame duck session. I'm Kristen Oaks in DeSoto Parish, where the tiniest form of agriculture is hard at work. I'll have that story coming up. I'm AJ Sabine here in New Orleans. How is one restaurant here in the city bringing agriculture to your table? I'll show you how coming up. Hi, I'm Avery Davidson. Thank you for joining us. Michael Dana has the week off. It's official. July was the hottest month on record in the United States. That's according to the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, which has records dating back to 1895. Meanwhile, help is on its way for ranchers and farmers hit hard by the drought. Late Tuesday, the U.S. Department of Agriculture announced that $30 million in disaster funding is now available to producers in 19 states. $16 million would be available for immediate financial assistance. The remaining $14 million would be available to ranchers through the NRCS to help move water to livestock and provide emergency forage. Meanwhile, last week the House passed a disaster assistance bill which would reinstate many of the programs in the 2008 Farm Bill which expired last September. Kyle McCann with the Louisiana Farm Bureau Federation says you should not assume that Congress is going to pass any kind of disaster assistance program just yet. The jury's still out yet because we don't know what the Senate will do. Will they look at the same piece of legislation come September? or will this get balled into a bigger bill a little later on? McCann says the best course of action would be for Congress to approve the 2012 Farm Bill, which includes disaster programs to help everyone involved in agriculture, not just those involved with livestock. McCann thinks if a Farm Bill passes this year, it will likely happen during the lame duck session following the November election. 